so in the last session that is in the yesterday's class we started data structures and algorithms with python in new batch the duration of this batch is two months the timings of the session is from 9 pm to 10 pm sometimes up to 10 15 okay the fees for this batch is 2500 content also i explained clearly in the last session and immediately we started the first chapter what is the first chapter sir recursion recursion so before moving to the recursion i explained very clearly why we need to go for recursion what is the general methods what is the general function is going to do then how we are moving for the methods what are the advantages of those methods or functions the main advantage is nothing but what code reusability the existing code we can able to reuse that part i covered very clearly next and after that how the control is going to flow from java i mean python virtual mission to the function calls suppose if it is calling any other function how the cursor uh, how the control is moving internally which data structure is maintained i explained very clearly can anyone tell me which data structure is maintained internally while implementing this recursion can you please confirm stack 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 data structure we are going to use of course internally it will use so i explained by taking multiple examples how the flow of control is happening in the recursion okay then we defined what is mean by recursion what are the two types of the recursion based on the stack entries so if the stack entries are keep on filling then it is called as infinite recursion if it is filled with up to certain point then it is called as a finite recursion i explained very clearly about this infinite recursion as well as a finite recursion with examples okay then based on the number of functions suppose if you have only one function that function calls the same function means one type of recursion that function is calling another function which in turn calls same function then it is indirect like that we have different function calls are there up to this i covered in the last sessions so do you have any doubts up to this please confirm no sir everyone please respond so that we can move further uh, no sir no sir good now today one important topic i'm going to discuss in the recursion sir what is that topic is sir base condition base condition sir what is mean by base condition very simple so to terminate okay to terminate or to stop the flow of execution the flow of execution inside recursion to stop the flow of execution inside the recursion so we have to write one explicit one explicit condition inside method call or inside function definition inside function definition so such a type of condition such a type of condition is called as base condition base condition sir an efficient recursion should contain a meaningful base condition sir based on that only the total control is going to be overflowed okay sir once if the base condition once if the base condition once if the base condition is satisfied recursion recursion will stop automatically automatically that recursion is going to be stopped we are not required to stop explicitly automatically it is going to be stopped sir everyone clear huh? yes sir yes sir. so i will take one example so i think uh, the example which we have taken in the last class same example i am going to take i am going to 
to define a python program so i am defining a function let us consider the name of the function is fun okay the name of the function is fun inside this i am going to print a message called good evening like this we have sir i can call this function tell me what is the output of this program sir good evening n number of times hmm. please make sure good evening is going to be printed only one time why because we are calling a function the function definition started from first line and only one statement is there inside that simply it will execute that so beyond that nothing is there now you can see we got a good evening message i want to call this function again and again and again so i am taking fun so that what will happen it will keep on printing so we got recursion we have to stop that's why i am going to give explicitly like i need to execute only five times so that parameter is called as what n it will print this good evening and it will call for n minus 1 so i am going to draw tree diagram for this please observe carefully sir first time this function got called by passing the parameter as a 5 so there are two lines are there inside this function what is the first line so it is going to print a message called good evening first time after that what will happen sir it is calling the function by passing 5 minus 1 which is nothing but 4 everyone clear with these two lines yes sir sir everyone clear yes sir clear now this is also a function right so it will expand again two instructions what is the first instruction good evening and then it will call for f of three again it is going to print good evening and it will be called for <coughs> two again it will print a good evening and it is going to be called for f of one every time please check is five times printing completed first time second time third time fourth time so one more time it has to print a good evening and f of one minus one zero can i say here we can stop because printing completed what is the base condition sir this is my base condition whenever the value of n is equal to zero then we can stop the process am i right friends please confirm everyone yes sir. yes sir so at the very beginning itself you have to check the condition sir if the value of n is equal to zero how to come out from the function there is one return keyword is there if I use a written keyword, what will happen? Immediately, the control is going to come out from the function. There ends the matter, sir. There ends the matter. Now, I want to execute this code. Let us cross check, sir, py space test.py. Are you seeing the good evening message is going to be printed how many times? Five times. Based on the value of n which you are passing, those many times it will execute. Sir, everyone clear up to this? Any queries? No, sir. Right. Sir, next example. What will happen if I am giving minus 5? Minus 5. Tell me, what is the output? So, 10 times good evening. Hmm. Observe carefully. Sir, first time minus 5. Second time what will happen? Minus 6. Huh? Minus 4. Minus 7. Minus 8. Minus 9. Minus 10. Sir, is there any possibility that it will reach to 0? No. Again, is it an infinite recursion or not? Yes, sir. Uh, we have to write the code base condition in such a way that it should stop for any kind of <coughs> inputs. 
what n i plus one n plus one no sir listen so i want to stop if n is less than or equal to zero can i take like this understood yep yeah. so my requirement is not to print minus five times meaningless statement so if you are giving a positive integer value those many times it will print if you are giving any negative integer value it won't to print if you are giving zero also it won't to print now is minus 5 is less than zero yes then immediately terminate because nothing is there to print so you can see nothing is going to be printed here so this is the way of writing base condition in an efficient manner okay we have to check twice while writing the base condition sir everyone understood mm, in this code if i uh, without changing it to greater than equal to uh, mm -hmm. if i do it uh, same equal to equal to zero and if i do n plus one then uh, code will function uh, similarly right ah yes but yeah. uh, based on inputs you have you need you should not change the function are you understanding if you oh, take correct, n plus correct, one correct, n correct, plus one yes. it will work but if i am giving yes. five here it won't work yes my code should be such function should be such that whatever input is there the same code should run i got exactly. it exactly sir everyone understood this is very very important point while writing the recursion while writing the recursion code compulsory you should have idea sir clear huh? yes sir if you are clear with this i want to demonstrate another two theoretical concepts after that i will go for uh, uh, what you can call examples Okay. okay. Right. Right, sir. so before going to that uh, uh, next level concept just i wanted to give some three points small three points um, maximum students are having doubt in this area need for recursion sir why we need to go for recursion is there any specific reason is there any specific reason for moving to the recursion yes there are some situations okay the first point i want to demonstrate here is sir by using recursion we can reduce we can reduce length of the code sir sir maybe this point is somewhat critical for you to understand trust me uh, when you are taking a looping statements and all it is a very clumsy code but if you use recursion automatically the length of the code is going to be decreased like anything trust me for merge sort quick sort okay binary search okay especially tree algorithms graph algorithms sir by observing the terms and by seeing the program you people are going to assume that sir this much code we need to remember nothing will be there easy code only matter of two to three lines in that one line is base condition one line is left side recursion call another line is right side recursion call but don't worry slowly i will explain all these things the advantage of recursion is nothing but we can reduce the length of the code that is first point second point we have to observe if we have if we have any common any common pattern then we have to use recursion sir my example is i want to calculate so like this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus some five, something like this i want to calculate sir is there any common pattern yes whatever operation that you are doing for these two suppose if you are getting result as a x 
same operation you have to do with three if you are getting y same operation you have to do with this one if you are getting z same operation you have to do for this sir whatever pattern you applied here same pattern same pattern same pattern are you understanding please confirm yes so these kind of problems we have to use recursion this is one point second point sir i want to give examples sir the best examples the best examples where compulsory we have to use a recursion in the sense sir fibonacci sequence fibonacci sequence is the best example where we are using this recursion okay then second one sir towers of hanai this this week we are going to see that then divide and conquer divide and conquer applications okay sir subsets subsets program we have next and after that uh, so tree traversals tree traversals next and after that graph graph traversals okay so linked list linked list operations in so many application areas we are using this recursion sir everyone got it got it sir sir clear i everyone so that we will move for next yes sir then next sir properties properties of recursion if i want to write any recursive code what properties should be there sir very simple only three steps only three steps what is the first property that we have is sir identify the operation identify the operation to be performed to be performed repeatedly repeatedly that i explained like pattern right we have to identify that pattern sir second step every time we have to divide the problem we have to divide the problem into we have to divide the problem into sir simple cases sir what is the third step very very important base condition must be required to stop or to terminate to terminate the process these are the main three steps or three properties what we have while implementing the recursion are you clear yes so clear yes sir clear huh? now i will start implementing the programs one by one but before that just a small confusion related topic i want to demonstrate later i will give uh, titles sir as of now i want to give the code assume i have a function is there called fn which is taking some n how to stop if the value of n is less than or equal to 0 i will stop otherwise i am printing the value of n and then i am calling function of n minus 1 sir now i will call this function by passing 5 let me trace first listen carefully first we are calling a function by passing sir let us assume n value is a 3 i don't want to take large number for my easy drawing purpose so n is equal to 3 first time it will check two lines are there first time it will check is n is greater than n is less than 0 no sir print the value of n so 3 is printed on the output screen then we are calling the function by passing 3 minus 1 2 sir is n is less than or equal to 0 no again it is having two operations print 2 after that so by passing 2 minus 1 1 is it less than or equal to 0 no so print 1 then call 1 minus 1 which is nothing but 0 when 0 it will stop the process sir my expected output is 3 2 1 sir let us run the code Sir, am I right? Is the output is clear? Yes, sir. Clear. This kind of recursion, this kind of recursion is called as, this kind of recursion is called as, okay, sir, tail recursion. Remember very clearly, tail recursion. And this method call is called as recursive, recursive call. Sir, two points I covered. This is tail recursion 
and this is a recursive call we know about this so before recursive call if you are taking any statement then it is called as tail recur tail recursion let me write the definition sir inside inside recursive inside recursive method so after recursive after recursive call if we are not taking if we are not taking any statements so then such a type of then such a type of recursion such a type of recursion is called as a sir tail recursion i reversed the definition so after recursive call if you are not taking any statements then it is called as tail recursion so this is nothing but the definition for tail recursion okay t r what we have sir any queries any queries no sir then same thing sir one more theoretical point is there sir what is that non tail recursion n t r okay non tail recursion sir inside recursive method after recursive call if we are taking any statements then such a type of recursion is called as what non tail recursion sir same program assume that this print i am taking here sir then is it non tail or not yes non tail recursion very very important but i will explain with the diagram then only you can understand well observe carefully first time we are calling function of 3 but the order is different observe carefully first line second line first first line is going to execute why because recursive call right so function of 3 minus 1 2 this statement is pending again function of 2 sir function of 1 one statement is pending again this one sir function of 0 one statement is pending one statement is pending okay like this we have then what will happen sir whenever function of zero is coming if you expand this it will stop then while coming back for which value we called these two one right that one will be printed sir in the reverse order we will get output then here for function one it is going to print the value who called this two right so it will print sir then this pending instruction is going to be executed this is the output what we are getting sir the order in which it is executing is different if you want just to have a look once sir uh, somewhere uh, the problem is with respect to spaces some issue is coming let us sort out it yeah sir 1 2 3 sir everyone understood clear yes sir please confirm guys sir repeat once which one sir function yeah. n minus n minus 1 sir after recursion call before recursion call if you are taking any statement it comes under tail recursion after this if you are taking any statement it will comes under non tail this blue color diagram is there right it is called as tail recursion first printing and then function call if you take red color first function call and then printing there is a difference okay okay sir uh, sir hmm so one doubt like uh, okay the recursion call is happening so the function n minus 1 is calling then again is calling again so hmm. the only final value should be printing or uh, instead no, of every every the, every time we are printing right so that print will go or is a function call will happen then again the uh, cursor will move to function right and then it will again the whole you see the happen. diagram you see the diagram so first what is happening Okay. Two instructions are there, correcta? Mm -hmm. There is a guarantee that both both lines should execute. Okay. One is a function call. Is it going mm -hmm. to transfer the control to next step? Correct. Mm -hmm. There is no okay. time to print this. 
when it will print after making all the method calls it will print that's why i told internally it will maintain stack sir first you called for three then it is calling two then it is calling one then it is calling zero when it is calling zero the task is completed sir here yeah. if you want to print what output you will get three to one so in the reverse order while deleting the stack entries is there any pending instructions or not it will check so in such a case oh. we will get one two three okay, okay. okay see remember carefully if you want to move from left to right or if you want to move from right to left so reverse programs wherever reverse is coming compulsory you need to use recursion efficient code we can write yes. sir everyone understood yes. Uh, yes. can you repeat this part l2 or r2 l i don't get it uh, sir left to process. right see if you have a number okay i want to read from left to right or i want to read from right to left go for recursion i have a string is there i want to read from left to right or from right to left go for recursion so forward direction reverse direction these kind of a problems if you are seeing blindly you can go for recursion means palindrome you want to say hmm. not only palindrome just i am talking about reverse okay sir clear everyone clear sir sir is the doubt got clarified someone asked yeah yeah joy this side yeah uh, actually i understood that uh, instead of in we can use the index number there that means so by that we can traverse from left to right right to left right mm -hmm. we will see there are lot of programs i am going to cover on that you will get clarity once recursion completed almost 50% of data structures is in our hand you will get some clarity sir all the theory part related to this recursion i completed sir if you are comfortable with this i will try to develop one or two applications today yes so first application rather than code we need to focus on diagrams diagrams are very very important if you understand diagrams everything will become very easy so first application which i am going to develop is nothing but as usual i want to calculate sum of okay so sum of n natural sum of n natural numbers this application i want to develop so define a function called maybe sum of sum of n okay within bracket i will pass n i will write code so i am going to print sum of n by passing 5 tell me what is my expected output 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 what is the result sir Fourteen. Fifteen. 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 Okay. Okay. This is my requirement, sir. Is is my concept is clear? What I am trying to implement. Yes. Yes. Generally, what we will do, we will take a loop which will start from zero to five, and we will write. But I identified that there is a common pattern, so I want to implement by using recursion, sir. When we can stop? Forget about that. I will write the code. sir i want to return i want to return n plus sir sum of n of n minus 1 observe carefully only one line code i have written sir what is that code you are calling sum of five natural numbers what you are doing sir n plus n means what five five plus again i am calling sum of n natural numbers n minus 1 five minus 1 four then what it is doing sum of 4 it is calculating 4 plus sum of 4 minus 1 3 then what will happen sir 3 plus sum of 3 minus 1 2 then what will happen sir 2 plus sum of 2 minus 1 1 then what is happening sir since 
1 plus the sum of 1 minus 1 0. But whenever we are getting 0, I will try to write the code like if the value of n is less than or equal to 0. I will return 0. Sir, is the diagram is clear up to this? Yes, sir, diagram is clear. Yes. Now, sir. observe carefully. In red color, I am marking. See, when the value of n is negative or 0, which value it is written? 0. 0. Sir, it will return 0. Already 1 is there. 1 plus 0. What is the value? One. one one who called this s of one for them it is going to return one one plus two three that three is going to be returned here because this is the color three plus three six it will return sir six plus four it will return ten ten plus five who called this main right for them it is going to return 15 sir is my expected output is same yes clear -a? yes sir both are same Sir, is the concept is clear how internally recursion is working? Sir, first we did the calling of sum of n minus 1. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we trace back it by just... Sir, don't explain to me again. You understood concept or not? Somewhat, sir. You will see multiple examples. If you see, you will get clarity. Okay. okay sir, sir, everyone, any any doubt in the diagram or code? No, sir. No. Clear? Huh? Yes, sir. Right, good. I will take another application, sir. Hmm? What is the second application is? Um, I want to do. Uh, so this yeah. one was non-tail, non right? No, it is tail recursion. After return, there is no statement, right? Yeah, this is the recursion. Before, before and after, there is no statement. So I was confused. <laughs> Okay, actually it is returning the value. See, remember carefully, after return or after recursion call, if you have any statement, then only it is non-tail. But I will explain whenever such a type of situation came, I will write in the comment, okay? Okay, got it. I want to calculate x to the power, x to the power of y. This application I want to calculate. I have a simple logic. Sir, if I want to calculate 2 power 3, what is the meaning, sir? Is it multiplication of 2, 3 times, correct? Huh? Yes, sir. x to the power of y means what? Sir, we have to multiply x. How many times? y times. 3 times. y times, correct? Huh? Sir, everyone clear? Yes. So, I want to implement this. I will write the function as a power, power, what this function is going to do, it will take two parameters, let us call 2 comma 3, so my expected output is nothing but what, 8, my expected output is nothing but what, 8, so which is receiving two parameters, a, b, please tell me, we have to multiply a, how many times, three times, in the code, it is b times. I am going to call power of, uh, sir, maybe 2 comma 3. Can I write, this is a, this is b, I am fixing a value. Can I take 2 into, again, power of 2 comma 2, can I write like this? Yeah. I removed 1, 2 from here. Sir, same thing, again 2 into, Power of what will be the next value? 2 comma 1. Power. Again, sir, 2 into power of 2 comma 0. Got it? 
sir anything yes, sir. power zero is what one 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 one, one. one. here i will write a statement to return one one into two it will return two sir two into two it will return four four into two it will return eight sir is our output came or not please confirm everyone yes sir everyone got it so two into power into into p p power of two into two means what exactly want to say means prior also i get that but it will can clear my concept sir two into no, i'm not getting what is your question two into p two comma two means hmm. two into p p of two in comma two means sir power sir power okay sir clear everyone yes sir hmm. now tell me what is the code i have to write here what is the base condition when we have to stop two of power is equal to zero when see the diagram and tell me power of 2 is equal to 0 less than zero. To 0 raised to 0 is equal to 1 so uh, what you are b, telling sir uh, if uh, b is less than equal to 0 very good if the value of b is less than or equal to 0 which value we have to return sir 1 0 or 1 1 1, one. why because we are dealing with multiplication Sir, otherwise, otherwise, tell me which value we have to return. A Identify the pattern. A into? A into, um, a power, into power of power A of minus 1. B minus B. B. A comma B comma B minus 1. Correct. That's all right. That's all. For the second program, you are telling the answer. That's all, sir. Nothing is there. So, the expected output is 8. We got it. Clear, everyone? I'm not getting it. Not getting the diagram also. Sir, what is your doubt, sir? So, 2 into power of 2 comma 2 means we have, first we have taken P 2 comma 3. Sir, we fixed the value of A. We are reducing B value. Okay, okay, okay. That's 0. Okay. 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 Okay, sir, got it. Just we are reducing the B value. Sir, clear yeah. everyone, please confirm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, one silly no question. No problem. Uh, in which case we are returning one and in last question you return zero, right? After because two. their addition is there, sir. Okay. Here multiplication, right? Oh, got it. Yeah. By mistake, if you are returning 0, 0 into right. anything will become 0, right? Yeah, right, right. That's what. See, okay. understanding the base case, no one is going to teach. <laughs> Depending on the problem statement, you need to write. Okay. You try to take 0 and write the diagram. What will happen? What is the output that you are getting in the program? And from the diagram, what output you are getting? If both are same, then there is a clear concept. If if you want to get the expected output as a different, then trace from the diagram. You will get clarity where the mistake is. Okay. Okay. But this is basic funda only. Uh, you have to return one when you have multiplication. Other than multiplication, if you have any other operation, you can directly return zero. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Sir, last application, I will uh, try to introduce one uh, small application. I want to do multiplication. Multiplication of two numbers. Multiplication of two numbers using recursion. Actually, in the real time, we won't implement this. But just for learning purpose, I am explaining. But in the interview, there may be a chance of asking this question. Can you please write a code to multiply two numbers by using recursion? I will take MUL A comma B. I will write the code later. Sir, now I am trying to print MUL multiplication of. Okay. Sir, um, maybe 
एट कामा टू आई एम टेकिंग वट इज एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट सर सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन सर आई विल राइट द डायग्राम प्लीज करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ सर एट कामा टू आई एम टेकिंग दिस एट इज ए एंड टू इज बी सर कैन आई से एट इंटू टू मीन वी हेव टू एड एट टू टाइम्स करेक्ट सेम लॉजिक आई एम गोइंग टू इंप्लीमेंट हियर वॉट इज मई कंडीशन सर एट ए वैल्यू प्लस अगेन मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ आई एम फिक्सिंग ए वैल्यू बट आई एम चेंजिंग द बी वैल्यू टू वन देन वॉट विल हैपन एट प्लस आई एम गोइंग टू फिक्स द फर्स्ट पैरामीटर सेकेंड पैरामीटर जीरो वेन एवर यू आर गेटिंग जीरो टेल मी सर इन दिस केस डू यू वॉन्ट टू रिटर्न जीरो आर वन the person who asked previously doubt ajit yeah it return 1 sir if you return 1 observe 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 8 what is the result 17 sir is yeah. the expected output is what no hmm. though so we have plus operator right so which value it has to return 0 0 so now if you return 0 Zero plus eight will become eight, sir. Eight plus eight will become sixteen, sir. You got clarity how we have to analyze? Yes, yeah, sir. Got it. Now, what is the base condition? If the value of b is less than or equal to zero, we have to return zero. Yeah. Otherwise, we have to return a plus multiplication of a comma b minus one. Sir, everyone understood? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. There is a small bug in the code. What is that bug? Is sir multiplication of eight comma two okay? By mistake, if you are giving two comma eight, what will happen? Sir two plus again multiplication of two comma seven again two plus multiplication of two comma six again this one seven sorry five this one four and then three and then two almost eight times we have to call correct? Huh? Yes. So in math there is a simple formula. A into B is equal to B into A. Whether you are doing two into eight or eight into two, answer is same. But for two into eight we need eight iterations. But for eight into two we need only two iterations. Which is recommended? First one or second one? First one. First one. So yeah. that's why I am going to write one more condition. What is that condition? Is at very beginning I will check. Is a is is a value is less than b, sir. If a value is less than b, can we call the same function by taking b comma y? Correct, huh? Now see what will happen, sir. I am going to call multiplication by passing two comma eight. First, it will check is a value is less than b. Yes, sir. Then it will call multiplication of eight comma two. Again, this same process will be repeated. Two calls here one total three calls. Sir, three calls is best right when compared with eight. Sir, understood? Yes. Yes, sir. Sir, still to improve better here you can remove and you can put here. That will be cool. Sir, everyone understood why I changed this. Can you yes, say again? But the oh. base condition. Sir, in in terms in terms of complexity of the code, uh, in the first case the number of steps were more, and mm. here it is code more. Uh, it is more efficient. So, but mm. uh, in terms of uh, bigo or something, uh, if it is asked in the interview, just for that purpose. Uh, mm -hmm. It is uh, how much it is getting big piece. Is there any calculation? Can we confirm? Ah, yeah, yeah. We are we are going to see that. But actually, recursive algorithms are going to take more time when compared with the normal. For this program, we won't go for recursion. But I am explaining the theoretical part. Okay. Like another thing, like here, uh, if the values are like eight into two, two into eight, these are okay. But if it is like thousand multiplied by thousand, then uh, 
uh, in that case the whole recursion will be uh, i think excluded like uh, it will exhaust now suppose see you are in hyderabad yes you want to reach bangalore at any cost yes so there is no transportation buses are not there trains are not there flights are not there you have only bike yes but compulsory you need to go to bangalore yes so i will give 1 lakh rupee if you reach tomorrow morning bangalore then what you will do you won't think any other things you will start bike <laughs> yes okay are It's you understanding like, yeah, yeah so okay. when there is no option compulsory we have to write the code even though it is taking more time also we don't have any alternative way but for this program we won't go for recursion already efficient mathematical algorithms are internally implemented by using that star operator correct yes yes but i am explaining the pin to pin theoretical points in detail suppose if any such yeah. type of situation is coming how we can write the code we are understanding we are doing post mortem on multiplication uh, uh sir like uh, i have one query like uh, earlier uh, hmm. it was getting uh, uh, like after some 900 something uh, number of uh, loops uh, it hmm. was showing that the recursion uh, exhausted something error hmm. was coming hmm. Hmm. so hmm. Uh, yes. is there any way that we can overcome because ah uh, yes here you can see right this is the best approach yeah the uh, uh, we change see, a, very yeah. simple very simple assume sir here we have um uh, 2 into 1000 maybe hmm. we can see so, yeah 8 uh, 8 into 1000 yes yes okay so if it is the uh-huh. case then it will fail then it will fail. Will what will happen yeah. sir 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000 yes, 8 times yes, is yes. easy Yes, yes, yes. So, like that. Just I am trying to explain, but real time there is no usage of this multiplication using recursion. Okay. You will see different kind of problem statements are there. That's what I told. Around twenty five applications, I am going to explain only on recursion, so that you will be very strong in uh, recursion. Uh, trust me, sir. If you understand recursion, every program will become very easy in the. data structures because majority of the programs only based on recursion okay blindly you can uh, when you are seeing any recursive i mean any data structure problem first you can go for recursion try to check is there any common pattern based condition if there is no such type of things then go for alternative solutions but 70 to 80% of the problems will have these kind of things have you remembered there is one data structure called a tree they will ask you to print from root to leaf go for recursion because if you start a tree is like this if you are printing here same pattern only here same pattern only here sir if there is no left and right shell we have to stop base condition whatever approach you have applied here same approach you have to apply in this side also maximum all the linked list uh, trees graphs will use recursion only internally i think the statements which i am giving making sense for you people clear oh yes right that's all about to, today's uh, session guys now if you are having any queries please feel free to ask sir i am not getting but i will recap this video tomorrow recorded session and yeah, then yeah, i will yeah. ask yes right sir so i request everyone to please register as early as possible maximum tomorrow is going to be the last demo session uh, from thursday we will have our regular sessions okay and yes, the people sir. who registered for this uh, tomorrow evening onwards we are going to share uh, running notes videos and all hello sir uh, yes please sir i have one question so uh, can you do how to calculate uh, like bigo things actually i uh, i have no experience in that Mm, sir but we uh, that is actually time complexity calculation is a completely theoretical part sir 
okay so we won't go in depth into that but at very basic level i will explain how to calculate time complexity once if the recursion got completed our next topic is that one only okay so i need suggestion where we can practice uh... No, sir, whatever, what, whatever, whatever concepts I am explaining, just to practice this. Okay, spend complete one hour or one and a half hour every day. Whatever stuff I am explaining, try to sit and practice. Watch the video one more time and take the notes by your own. So, draw the tree diagrams and all. So, check with the expected output. Keep the mobile ahead. Sit in front of system practice so once if today's task completed then you can go and you can enjoy tomorrow also same job like that this one and a half months or two months please spend some time try to listen the lecture one more time and practice once if the course got completed then you can explore there are so many websites are there slowly you can start because data structure means only on recursion there won't be any program in stack we have to use recursion in queue we have to use recursion like that multiple concepts are included in a single program such type of problems only we, now we are getting so you should complete this particular uh, dsa course then you can start practice okay sure, sure. right okay guys see you tomorrow okay sir tomorrow is the same link Mm, same link, same link, same link, same okay. time. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you. Good, Good night. night. Good. Thank you. Good night.